Hey mate, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Yeah. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, I know you've only just kind of semi-started in your producerial career. There's not a bigger credit than doing an Indiana Jones and all of the pressures that come, that come with so it. It's not so bad. Uh, I actually, uh, Kathy and Frank um, first talked to me about this eight years ago, uh, which is crazy. It's been a, it's been a very long ride and uh, I'm so, so excited to actually be here. This really does, this event feels like the, the finish line for me. And I think for everyone here, so yeah, super exciting. Fantastic. I mean, obviously there was a bit of skepticism about Harrison coming back again and all the other things that come with it. So for you guys, what were the key elements to make sure that this was as good as it could be? I think actually uh, playing into Harrison's age, I think, you know, he was in his 70s when we made the movie. And uh, the great thing is he's Harrison Ford. You know, he's super, super fit. And I think the character is as close as you can get to who Harrison is. He's a natural adventurer. He's incredibly physical. You know, he does ride horses and fly planes, all those things. But leaning into the fact that he's not a young man anymore, I think actually makes it um, just a much more believable story. And it was something that was important to, to James Mangold and to Harrison and, and Kathy and Frank. And I think um, everyone's delivered on that really well. Having worked on Star Wars and that with, with Kathy and Lucasfilm, did you have a, something of a shorthand going into this one? You had a bit of a trust going into making this one? Yeah, very much so. I mean, I've been very lucky to work with Lucasfilm for uh, just over 10 years now. Um, and I'd actually stepped away because uh, we had a break in the feature films and then um, just a, a twist of fate. I was lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time and step back in. But um, absolutely, I think, I mean, especially with Kathy, we have a great shorthand. She's incredibly trusting. She's the most wonderful mentor, truly. Um, and I love that she, you know, lets me, lets me run, but also is always there with her incredible wealth of experience when I need it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, she's, yeah, truly, truly wonderful. I wouldn't yeah. be here without her. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be remiss uh, if I didn't in my duties ask you about uh, Batman, which obviously went down very, very well and the sequel's yep. on the way. How, how far along are you? How's the progress going on um, Batman 2? Well, I'm actually, I'm going to be busy with Lucasfilm. Ah. So we've got, a, we've got a couple more projects that um, I'm looking after. Uh, so the next Star Wars film, which I'm very excited about, with um, directed by Charmino Bejanoi. So that's my one. Um, Matt Reeves, uh, obviously the writer's strike. I imagine he's pens down, but I know he was in the writing phase. Um, and Batman was again just an amazing experience and uh, uh, very, very, very different from this. And um, and obviously shot during COVID, which was a whole other set of challenges. Um, but it's it's really fun to work on these big movies. I feel you know truly honoured. They're just fun, yeah. you know, they're hard work, but they really are fun. And Indiana Jones, you couldn't get something more fun to work on. Fantastic. Yeah. Finally, I'm asking everyone this, outside of Indiana Jones, what's your favorite Harrison Ford film slash performance? Um, I've got to say, uh, I mean, there's actually a few, but Empire Strikes Back is, is probably my favorite Star Wars movie. Um, it was the one that I remember going to theaters to see and, and left an indelible impression. And then actually, funny enough, I just rewatched The Fugitive. Um, which is just the most awesome film and stands up so well. But I was telling my son, you've got to go and see, uh, have you seen The Fugitive? He's like, no, I said, go watch that. I mean, Harrison's amazing. And I wish that we could make movies like that still. You know, it feels like that sort of, um, that upper sort of middle range, you know, dramatic story. We just don't get a lot of those anymore. And I really hope that we can get a return to that kind of cinema because I think there's, there's definitely a place for it. Absolutely. Yeah. I wish you all the best tonight. Thanks Thank so much you for your so time. Much. Pleasure. Let me talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.